Hello my YouTube friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica and I'm a research scientist in the field of environmental chemistry and I make an assortment of different videos ranging from PhD advice videos, studying advice videos and I also make vlogs showing what it's like being a research scientist in the field of chemistry. So today I would love to show you a tool that I have been using to help with project management, to help with summarising projects, to help with studying and I even used it during my PhD Viva to help me pass my Viva. This tool is called Scrintle and Scrintle is a digital platform which allows you to share your ideas and summarise your ideas and kind of map out your ideas to help with project management, to help with studying and to help to kind of free your brain of all those thoughts, get them down in note form but not on paper but using a digital resource. I like Scrintle because back in the day when I was studying at school I would always use paper for studying and now that I have worked through my PhD and I'm now in my first professional role I'm trying to do everything digitally just to keep everything together in one place and Scrintle really allows you to link all of your ideas together and to make boards summarizing your projects which helps you to visualize maybe a really big project that you have but helps you to visualize it in small segments and just makes your projects more manageable and your thoughts more manageable as well. So today I thought I'd run through a little tutorial on how to use the platform. I also wanted to give you a guided tour around a board that I made for my PhD Viva so it's quite comprehensive and has a lot of different cards in there and I just wanted to show you the tool to see if it might interest you and it might aid you whether you're at high school, whether you're at university, and you're studying an undergraduate degree, whether you're doing your PhD or whether you're in a professional role like me and want a tool to help you with project management and organising all of your thoughts. So let's jump into the tutorial. So when you open up Scrintle, this is the dashboard that you will see. So as you'll see, there are certain terms to just familiarise yourself with, such as cards, boards, tags, tasks, web links. So these are all different features of the tool which can help you to kind of use the tool to its maximum potential. So this here is my board that I created for preparing for my PhD Viva. So PhD Viva is when you have to defend your PhD thesis and you're basically asked a bunch of questions about everything you wrote inside of your thesis. So I wanted to make a board to help me summarise my different chapters and then different subsections of my chapters to help me to take notes, just to basically have this reference so I could look back at all the different sections, all of my different notes. And it was just a really useful way for me personally to study for the PhD Viva. So as you can see here, I have my chapter one notes and I have all of these kind of branches which are going to my subsection. So I made cards with notes which linked to my chapter one. And also here you can see I've got this subsection, but then it has other subsections branching off of it. So it's just kind of letting me see the structure of my thesis and seeing I'm connecting all of the different subjects um, section, sorry, together. I've also got my cluster, let's say, for chapter two. For chapter three, I did the same, and also down here for chapter four and chapter five. So I'm just using this little hand here to help me to drag around and to navigate my board because this is my Viva Prep board it's called. So it's kind of like a mind map board, it's kind of like if you imagine you've got a whiteboard and you're physically writing on all of your notes but instead of taking up all that space you can compact all of your notes into individual cards and just link them together. If I click off of this hand I can then click onto one of my cards. So what I did here you can see I've done a bit of colour coding because you can colour code your cards which is really useful. And for each of my kind of main chapter cards where I gave myself some to-do lists, basically, I made them pink. And then for some of them, I made them yellow because I had some things to read up on. So it just helped me to visualize that in the cards which are yellow, I have stuff that I needed to read up on. So just to give you a little tour around maybe one of my chapter clusters. I have my chapter one notes here. So as I showed you in chapter one, I just had a little kind of to-do list and I did a little hashtag down here. And it shows you here the different cards, the different sections for me that this chapter one card links to. So if I go to the first one up here, I can double click it and it will expand it. 
This is maybe not the best one to show because I didn't make too many notes there. Let's go for this one. So I use this card to make bullet points to summarise what was in that chapter. So I could have all of my notes here, I could just click onto it and I could see all of my notes for that specific subsection. Just to show you an example of another one down here, I just made bullet points for the main kind of points that I wanted to remind myself of when I looked at the board again later on. Again, just some bullet points and they're all linked together to this main one because these are subsections of that section. I'm just going to scroll along to chapter two and you can see it's very much the same kind of idea how I've used the board here. I have got my chapter two and then this is all of the subsections within chapter two and this just really helped me to visualize my thesis without having to actually dive into my thesis if that makes sense because I've literally mapped out what is in all of my chapters and you could do this if you're trying to map out a paper that you're trying to write or if you're trying to write a report, a technical report perhaps. You can use this in the same way to actually plan the piece of writing that you want to do. So I thought I could scroll down to the bottom here because all of these are laid out in a relatively similar way. The ones that are yellow have things that I need to go back and read up on. The ones in pink are the kind of main chapter cards but if I scroll down here I'm going to show you how you can actually make a card and it's very very simple. So there's two ways to do this. I can click off of the hand here and I can double click on the board and voila it makes a card. So I'm just going to zoom in here and I'm just going to drag this up and I'm going to click on my card and I can start typing. So I can start typing new card for Scrinto. And then underneath I can make my notes like I did before. And what you can also do is you can start to link your cards here if you want to. There is another way to do it, but if I want to make another card which is related to this card, I can actually put a plus sign and I can write new card. And this will create a new card which is now linked to the card from before. I can change the position of the card, I can make it wherever I want. I can also change the colour of the card um, and there's lots of other tools that you can do there. Another way to link cards together is to make a new card by double tapping or you can even add a new card by clicking on the plus sign here and you'll see all the different functions here. I can make another card. So I have my other card here and if I click to edit it, I can go plus and I can link it with my new card. So if I click on this one, it's going to actually create a new card. But remember, we made the new card just a second ago. I can click that one and it should link them together. There we go. It has linked this card with my new card. So it is so simple to link your cards together. It is so simple to write your notes because you have unlimited space to make as many notes as you want to. So it is so simple to make new cards. It is so simple to link them together. All you have to do is right click and you can change the color. You can also open focus mode, which is quite interesting. So that opens up your notes and you can make notes in there instead of having to just do it on the small card. With Scrintle, you can actually add as many boards as you want. I'm just going to add a new board here in my current board so I can make a board within a board. And if I click on it, it is now taking me to my new board. So I've got a fresh canvas and I can make as many cards as I want on it and I can make as many notes as I want on it. And like I say, you can make as many boards as you want. I hope you enjoyed that little tour of Scrintle and the little tutorial of how I have used Scrintle to help me with my PhD in the past. Again, Scrintle is a great tool for managing your thoughts, for linking your ideas together. And especially if you are doing something like grant writing or trying to create a project proposal or just trying to manage ideas in your day-to-day -day working life, it can be incredibly useful for that. If you would be interested in trying Scrintle, you can click on the link in the description below, which will get you 10% off of your subscription, or you can use the code JESSICA10 when you sign up, which will also give you a 10% discount on your subscription. Thank you so much to Scrintle for working with me on this video today, and thank you so much for you guys for sticking around and hearing what Scrintle is all about. See you all in my next video. Bye!